Ow. <laughs> like twice. Big mirrors. I cannot lie. All right, pretty people, welcome back. So today I'm gonna give you a little update on what I'm doing on the van. I've got a few projects that are kind of going on in parallel, I'm trying to get ready for the spring season, which is coming up. Gonna do a little bit of traveling and I need to have more than two occupants in this van for it. So, so the first thing I've done is create these modular floor bunks that uh, cover the bike trays. And so I can either put people sleeping down here or different types of cargo like a lawnmower, motorcycle, four-wheeler, whatever it may be. And I still have access to my trays where I can slide out and actually store things. So these are still accessible and there's probably, I'd say there's a good uh, maybe five, five and a half inches of height room in there that I can put things to store in both sides still. And then when I get through the trip, I can just take these little modular pieces out and store them away and put the bikes back in similar concept that i did with the upper bunk except for the upper bunk i did not cover those in the uh the speaker fabric there so let's move on to the next project all right so the second project is going to be trying to put this third seat passenger seat inside the van and that is going to be a task in itself but I do have these brackets down here that installs in the bottom of the van. The only problem is my floor is already in the van, so I'm gonna have to cut the floor out. And I'm gonna actually shorten these down so they won't be so long. And there's one on the bottom there that I've already shortened. I took the uh, Sawzall and uh, shortened that up. So we'll file that down and paint her up and we'll do the same to this bracket. And then the seats just clip in. And boy, are they heavy. I have never, these seats are heavy. Just to be a single seat here. It does have the integrated seat belt, so I don't have to worry about anchoring that down. The only real room I have in this van is literally right here where I'm standing. And uh, I've got, I'm gonna have to remove this floor and I'm gonna have to cut out and make space for the brackets so and I don't even know if it will work or not because I haven't even looked up under the bottom of the van yet to see where the frame rails are and to see where I would be drilling if I can get the seat in the right position I don't want to take all the battery boxes out and all this other stuff out I can definitely take the sink out that's no problem but the battery boxes are much more pain in the butt uh, so I'll probably just cut a big square out all right the third thing I'm gonna have to do is this van's got about almost 16,000 miles on it now so i've got to rotate the tires and that's going to be a job in itself because i'm gonna have to use the spare tire to uh, rotate through i'm just going to do a simple front to back and back to front rotation let's get to it i want to show you the jack points under this van not the lift points but the jack points they're interesting to say the least all right the first thing we need to do is get the spare down and then go find some level ground i made a video about how i get to this uh, ratchet system and what i use here since i covered the hole up i use one of these kind of spark plug wrenches all right this will be on the underside of the the rim holding it up against tight against the chassis this uh tether here just screws on this bolt so you want to remove it just twist the top here and remove it like that and then this is the cable that actually ratchets up and down so you want to screw off this black cap here or just kind of pop it off and there's like a little bicycle uh, ferrule there that ferrule snakes inside here and locks this piece on so you can remove this this stuff is all in your owner's manual but maybe this will be a little bit clearer as to what to actually do in order to uh, remove your spare got some air tools out here get ready to do this thing so i've got the center caps off and got everything chalked up got my floor jack under 
and I want to show you the jack points for the front because you know they show them in the uh, owner's manual they're not exactly uh, straight forward to see because it's a piece of round bar okay front jack points I'm gonna try to do this with not a whole lot of light here see that little round bar there yep that's a jack point there's one on the other side too so basically you just need to get your jack cup up under that round bar there and that's your jack point and the rear is the cross section between the leaf spring and the rear axle side done. We're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. We're going to loosen the front, jack it up, put the spare on, move the back to the front, front to the back, do our little dance. So I'm going to loosen the lug nuts just a little bit here so I can, uh, the wheel won't spin when I jack it up. Thank <laughs> you. 
For you ladies out there, if you're changing the tire this heavy, make sure the van's fully supported. Sit down Indian style. Get a bolt pattern lined up before you pick it up. Spin it around until you think you got it close. Which I think that is. And put your arms up under your knees like this. And use your body. It's real easy to actually pick the tire up like that. See how easy that was? You just support. Use the lever of your arm on your on your knee, like that. Real easy for the ladies in the house. Or you might be stronger than a man, so do it however you want. But if you uh, find, you could be a weak man. Or you could be just out of the hospital, whatever it may be. Try that. There's no back involved. You might notice I'm missing the ring off my air tool to keep my uh, socket on. Don't ask me what happened. All our tools to the front. Dial as close as you can to the to the vehicle. Get your tire scooted up. See if your bolt pattern lines up. A little bit like that. Put your hands up under your knees like that. And it's so easy to lift up. Okay. And then once you get it on, use your foot to hold the bottom on. Which side is the dirtiest? So that goes down toward the ground. See how dirty it is? But the deep side is the side where all the mechanism goes in. So all we need to do is scoop this under and reconnect everything. So this thing fits like such. So goes through one of the the, nut, the bolt holes, then you just connect it from the top. So, still going up. Can't get to put our lug wrench back into our little cubby here and put our tools back, and that'll be it. So, that's a quick update on the van projects, and we did a rotation of the tires from front to back and back to front. That'll do it for this video. You guys know what to do. Until next time, let's go up and ride. Man up and go.